for story time, little helpers. Ooh, you found a lost treasure. <gasps> My lost cozy kitten booty. Thanks. It's teensier than I remember. Oops. <laughs> that reminds me of a story of someone else who lost a booty. Rainbowella. Is that like Cinderella? Exactly like that. Only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there lived two sisters. Rainbowella and Glitzelda. The prince is looking for a new royal dancer, and he's invited me, oh, us, to audition. Dancing? I can't dance like you, Glitzelda. Nobody can. Don't worry. With all my whirls and twirls, no one will be watching you. Right. And if everyone's watching you, it'll give me a chance to practice my dancing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> 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 um, actually, maybe you should stay home. Just to be on the safe side. Toodles! <sighs> I wish I could dance without falling. Did you say wish? I'm your fairy god kitty. Whoa, I have a fairy god kitty? Sure do. And he insists that you go to that royal audition to dazzle everyone with your incredible dance moves. But every time I try to dance, I fall. Not anymore. Magic dancing rainbow boots. There, time to go. Don't want to be late, right? But, but, but. Have a marvelous time, Rainbow Ella. Ah! Dance the way only you can. What? And the magic boots will do the rest. I hope. Not bad. Now who's next? Oops, sorry. Sensational! <gasps> okay, Boots, let's see what you got. Huh? I didn't fall. <gasps> it's the magic boots. They won't let me fall. I can't fall. Whee! Stop the music! Rainbow Ella, you've learned to dance? Well... Well, in that case, I challenge you to a dance-off. Dance-off? <laughs> I do love a dance-off. May the best dancer win. Begin. <laughs> Don't let me fall. Yeah! <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Who is that? Her dancing is extraordinary! these rainbow boots. The next day, the prince tried the rainbow boots on everyone in the kingdom until there was only one house left. Oh, the prince! I'm looking for the greatest dancer in the kingdom, the owner of these rainbow boots. <gasps> that would be me. These are clearly my boots. You sure? They seem way too big. 
I like big boots for dancing. It keeps me loose. See? Oh, hello. Would you like to try on the boots? <sighs> Fine. Here. No thanks, Lizelda. I'm going to dance the only way I can. <sighs> Here goes nothing. It was you! I'd know those dance moves anywhere! You're the most interesting, entertaining dancer I've ever seen! Please, say you'll be my royal dancer from now until forever. Okay, but only if my sister Glitzelda can come too. Yay! So she can learn to dance from you? Of course! What? Really? They all dance happily ever after. The end. Aw, oh, great story, True. Now where's my cozy kitten booty? <laughs> um, I think it's a better fit for someone else, B. Ha <laughs> they're really cute. Almost as cute as a kitten, I know. But I still want it back when they wake up. <laughs> oh, B. Griselda Locks and the Three Yetis. Everybody ready for story time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, one second. I have to get comfortable here. Could you just um, uh, slide over? It almost. It, it, oh, ah, there we go. Okay, everything's just right. Whoa! <laughs> You don't. Oh, now everything's too drooly. <laughs> Sounds like everything's just right for our story. Griselda Locks and the Three Yetis. Is that like Goldilocks and the Three Bears? It's exactly like that, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, a papa, a mama, and a little yeti sat down to enjoy some yummy nummelberry porridge. <laughs> but it was too hot. So the yetis decided to take a pleasant walk in the forest while the porridge cooled off. Didn't you mean a swing to the forest? <laughs> Just then, Griselda Locks came by. <laughs> Oh, Fruki, what a glorious day for a walk in the forest. <laughs> Something smells yummy. Are you hungry, Fruki Wookie? <laughs> Maybe the people who live in this, um, house will give us something to eat. Let's be charming. Surprise visit from a princess. It's me, Griselda Locks. Hello, anyone home? Well, Whoever lives here is going to be very disappointed they missed a surprise visit from a princess. <coughs> You're right, Fruki. We should wait for them to come back. It's the least we can do. Ow! This chair is too hard. What about this one? Whoa! It's too soft. Maybe this one? It's pretty good. It's a little plain. Needs more, um, oh, sparkles. What's that, Fruki? Did you say Nemelberry porridge? How thoughtful of them to leave some out in case we stop by. Blah! Ugh, ugh, too hot! Blah! Ugh, ugh, too cold! Mm, not bad, but it needs to be more rainbowlicious. Hmm, Fruky Boo, I'm starting to see a pattern here. A plain old boring pattern. Fruky? Exactly! Fruki! We should redecorate! We'll give them Griselda Lux Glamorous Home Makeover! <laughs> That's it, Grismos! Bring in my signature Razzle Dazzle! <laughs> Change that painting! More is better! Sparkles! More sparkles! Good 
work, Grismos. Now it's just right. Fruki, isn't this perfection? Good idea, Fruki Kins. A nap is just what we deserve after all this hard work. Grismos dismissed. This is the perfect napping spot. We did such a good job. <sighs> They're going to be so happy. When the Yetis got back, they were surprised to see that somebody had wandered into their home. Hey! Papa's chair was covered in sparkles. <laughs> Papa does not like sparkles. And Mama's porridge had rainbow sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's bad. Little Yeti could hear someone sleeping in his bedroom. Gasp! Princess Griselda Locks. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me. Uh-uh. Uh well, anyway, I jazzed up your place a little bit. And, uh, you're welcome? Everything was just right. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up. They loved it. I did not see that coming. Yep. Yetis like things yeti-ish and sparkly. Who doesn't love sparkles? <laughs> Ray! Story true. Not too long, not too short, and the amount of princess in it was just right. Don't you think, Fruki Kins? The story's over. I finally got comfortable. <laughs> Everything is just right. <laughs> oh, oh, Bartleby. Bartleby. You got another story in there, right? <laughs> what? Bartolokio. Is everyone comfy for story time? Buddy, wait, someone's sitting on my tail. Wait, no, oh, it's just me. Hey, did you grow even longer? Trouble with your tail? That's what happens in Bartolokio. Wait a second, is that like the story of Pinocchio? It's exactly like that, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there was a lonely old puppeteer named Zipetto. Yes, I win again. Yes, I win again. I win again. Yes, I win again. <sighs> Bartolokio, oh, how I wish I had a real friend to play with. Da -da -da -da. Wow, a fairy princess? That's me, and I'm going to make your wish come true, because that's what fairy princesses do. Really? You're gonna be my friend and play with me? Um, almost right. Watch this. Yippity yappity, babbly boo. We're both alive, and now so are you. Hey, I, I can move. Wow, I'm alive. <laughs> and hungry. Got any snacks? Wow, you turned my puppet into a real live playmate for me. With real live fur and real live whiskers and real live tummy, which is still pretty hungry. And check out this tail. I am one handsome cat. Of course you are. I do good work. Okay, I have other fairy princess stuff I have to get to. Toodaloo! And don't forget, be a good little kitty. Bye! Thanks for the awesome tail! A real life friend? What should we do first? Oh, I know. Don't move. Okay, not moving. Mm, da, 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 I'm still hungry. Ooh, what tasty looking thing is this? Mm, mm, yummy. Mm. Delish. Mm. Uh, with the fishy poof crackers? Ah, 
I love fishy poof crackers. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, see, Petto said don't move. What if he gets mad? And the fairy princess finds out. <gasps> she might turn me back into a puppet. Look, I got you all these. <gasps> what happened in here? Did you make this mess? Mess? What mess? You mean, you mean this little mess? No, it wasn't me at all. <laughs> Your tail, it just grew longer. What? No, it didn't. <laughs> there, it just did it again. Well, if it did, it's not my fault. No! <laughs> No! It's like your tail grows whenever you say something that's not true. But I never lie! Ah! Yeah, I'm the most honest cat ever! <laughs> and if I ever did lie, I would certainly stop. Because, <laughs> frankly, I think lying is a terrible thing to do. <laughs> and I would never lie about telling lies. <laughs> I'll be right back. I just need to uh, use the washroom. Thank you. <laughs> Wait! Bartolokio, don't run away. Come back. We are currently experiencing service delays. Your patience will be appreciated. Hey, what's the holdup? I said we appreciate your patience. Okay. Wow. Bartolokio? Bartolokio! I found you! Thank goodness you're safe! Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, safe and sound. Oof. <sighs> they never listen. Who, me? No, you got, you got the wrong cat. <sighs> Have you been lying the whole time you've been alive? No, 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 not the whole time. Just, uh, whenever I was talking. <laughs> My tail! It, it, it got shorter! All you have to do is tell the truth. I was afraid you'd turn me back into a puppet for being a bad kitty. And I don't mind a little mess as long as you're my friend. Really? Then it was all me. I tried the snacks, drank the juice, knocked over everything when I was dancing, and when I said it wasn't lying, it was a lie! Hey! <laughs> oh, nice limbo. <laughs> Didn't mean to ruin your tea party! Apologies for the inconvenience! Well, all right. Service resumed. <laughs> I love being alive! <laughs> that was also me. So, want to play checkers? <laughs> <laughs> and they lived honestly ever after. The end. Great story, True. Especially the part when the fairy princess saved the day. Thanks. Tail still too long, Bartleby? Nope. It's perfect just the way it is. And you could never be any trouble, could you? <laughs> yeah, stop tickling. <laughs> okay, enough now. <laughs> I was just telling everybody what a good tail you are. <laughs> be a good tail. Okay. <laughs> the fishy poof touch. Okay, I got the story time snacks. Ooh, for me? Thank you, Bartleby. Actually, I didn't know you liked fishy poof crackers. Or I would have brought a bigger bowl. I love my fishy poof crackers. I can never get enough of them. That's what King Bibi thought when he got the fishy poof touch. Is that like the story of King Midas in the golden touch? It's exactly like that story, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip, zap, zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there was a great king named Bibi who loved fishy poof crackers. Yum, yum, yum. I do love my fishy poof crackers. Ahem. King Bibi, everyone's waiting to see my art. Oh, right. <clears throat> okay. Citizens, today we reveal an amazing sparkly statue made at my request by the royal artist, who's also my best friend, True, <laughs> to honor the great fairy Griselda. I look gorgeous in marble. Very lifelike, True. Just wait till we turn the fountain on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look out, everybody! Get back! 
get there! Oh, that was close. We almost got wet. The king hates getting wet. Weird. Anyway, I love my statue, so I want to do something nice for you and grant you a wish. What does your heart desire? Huh. Yeah, right now I desire more fishy poof crackers. Really? Are you sure you don't want a bigger palace or the power to turn everything you touch into gold? Nah. But how about the power to turn everything I touch into fishy poofs? You want the fishy poof touch? Yes! Please make my paws magic! As you wish. Did it work? I mean, shouldn't they sparkle now or something? You wished for the fishy poof touch, not glitter paws. Just try it. Oh no. Huh? Wow! It works! Thanks! You're the greatest fairy ever! I know. Have fun, King BB. Thanks for the statue! Bye, Fairy Griselda! Ha <laughs> ha! Now time to make more fishy poof crackers! La, la. Hmm. Why are your smiles upside down? You bit my hat! You ate the last chapter of my book! King BB, I know you love turning things into fishy poofs, but the people want their stuff mm -hmm. back. But I have the fishy poof touch! This is the greatest day ever! No, don't! Oh, my fishy poof touch turned my best friend into a fishy poof cracker. I have to undo this. How do I undo this? With my back paws? Cross paw reverse? Wish delete? There's got to be a way to reverse this. Oh, I know. Fairy Griselda. Help! Oh, look at that. You have another statue. Nice. It's not a statue. I turned the real true into a cracker. Please, fairy, change my friend back into a girl. I might be the great fairy Griselda, but even I can't do that. Why not? Only you have the power to turn true back, King BB. But it means giving up your fishy poof touch forever. But I like having the fishy poof touch. But I like having my friend more. Okay, do it. Remove the fishy poof touch from my paws. No, that's not the way it works. You have to wash it off. Sure, that sounds easy. Mm. Uh, not like that, King BB. By bathing in water. Oh, no. Anything but that. Sue yourself. Enjoy your cracker, friend. It's okay, True. We can make this work. Hug? Uh, who am I kidding? I'd much rather have my huggable best friend back than an endless supply of crispy, crunchy, mouth-wateringly delicious fishy poof crackers. <gasps> Cannonball! My book's a book again! My house is a house again! Hey! Who ate my doorknob? I'm... I'm me again! Oh, I did it! I changed you back! Did you see how brave I was, True? Jumping into the water and everything, did you see that? I sure did, B. Hug? But... but what if... Only one way to find out! <clears throat> And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Mm, I love you, True. I'm so glad you're not a cracker. The king should have wished for glitter paws. See? So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Cat and the Poof Stock. Fishy poof, fishy poof. So big and lovable and... <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh! <laughs>
<laughs> Were you dreaming about a big pile of fishy poofs again? Better! I was dreaming about one giant fishy poof! It was so big, true. Really humongous. A super-sized cracker of poofy fishiness. Sounds like you drained the story of the cat and the poof stock. Poof stock? Wait a minute. Is that the story like Jack and the Beanstalk? It's exactly like that story. Only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there was a sweet kitty named... Um, uh, Bartleton, Bartleson, Bartleberry! Let's call him Bart. Bart loved to eat fishy poofs. I love to eat fishy poofs. Hi, little chicks. Do you like to eat fishy poofs, too? Kind-hearted Bart shared his fishy poofs with the little chicks. Huh? Do, do, do I have to? All right, here you go. Or are you ever cute? <laughs> Don't forget to share! Aw, oh, look at them. Yeah, you gotta do the rest of for me! What, 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 what are you doing? No! Ah! Remember sharing? You left me one fishy poof? Well, I guess that's sharing, technically. Ooh, very nice. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Oh, that poof almost broke my tooth! But what the kitty didn't know was that it was no ordinary fishy poof. It was a magical poof. <gasps> Smells fishy. Looks poofy. And it goes way up into the sky. <gasps> it's a giant fishy poof stock. <clears throat> I bet there's a gazillion fishy poofs up there. This is high, really high. I don't know if I can make it all the way to the top. Yeah, oh no, you don't. Oh. So Bart climbed and climbed as fast as he could to be the first to the top of the poof stalk. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. So, you chicks can't reach the top, huh? Good. You've had your share. Time for me to go get my <gasps> giant fishy poof. Okay, what was that? A giant castle? Funny, I never noticed that before. The dum, 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 dum. Ah! I'm in a hurry. The dum, 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 dum. The Mr. Giant, so sorry my fishy poof grew a stalk that poked through your cloud. I'll just take this one teeny tiny little poof and leave. <laughs> Please don't eat me. Mmm! <laughs> nom, 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 nom! I should have known that was gonna happen. Everyone loves fishy poofs. Goodbye, humongous fishy poof. I'll miss you. Come on, chicks. Time to go home. So Bart started climbing back down without the giant fishy poof. Terrible story. I want a new one. Shh. It's not over yet. Just wait. This is the best part. E five o Num, 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 num. Uh, no, Mr. Giant. I, I, I'm not delicious. I mean, I might be, but probably not. I, I, you might hurt your tooth. Share? You picked more giant fishy poofs than you want to share with me? And so they shared the giant fishy poofs, the biggest, crunchiest, fishiest fishy poofs Bart had ever tasted. 
Pee-fi-fo-fum! Nom, 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 nom! <laughs> Everything is just about perfect. All we need now is one amazing, fantastic, unbelievable snack. <laughs> and everyone munched happily ever after. The end. Best story ever! <laughs> because it was about a nice giant and sharing? No, because it was about how to grow a giant fishy poof. Come on, Poof. Come on, grow nice and big. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Bartleby. <laughs> Red Riding Mila. Okay, little helpers, it's snack time. There's one for you, and you, and you, and you. Hey, you're not a little helper. What gave it away? My big smile? My big handsome eyes. You can't hide what you are, Bartleby. Even the big bad wolf couldn't do it. Like the big bad wolf in the Little Red Riding Hood story? Exactly like that. Only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there was a little girl skipping through the woods when she came upon a big, bad wolf. <laughs> oh, no. It's a big, bad wolf. Um, that's not a wolf. That's my fruki. Oh, what's with the basket, Red Riding Mila? Oh, the king has the sniffles, and I'm bringing in my top secret sniffle solver. Bye. Hmm, if I could get that sniffle solver, I could be the one to cure the king. I'd be a hero. Red Riding Mila, wait! You shouted, my lady. Griselda told Red Riding Mila about a shortcut to the king's cottage. But it was really a long cut. Griselda got there first, with the plan to trick Mila and the king, who did have a bad case of sniffles. Oh, my aching bulbs. My nose is all stuffed up. Knock, knock. What's the oogie boogie? I heard you were sick. Oh, my. Are you in bed? Oh, no, 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 no. You need to be tucked in somewhere snug and cozy. Like a... drawer. A drawer? Oh, yes, drawer therapy. It's a well-known cure for the sniffles. I've never heard of it. But uh, I'll try anything to get rid of these. Let's go, Oogie Boogie. There you go, all snug and cozy. Now don't come out till I say so. Who's ringing the doorbell? Poor dear. Now you're hearing things. We better close you up quick. Now for the fun part, makeover. Perfect. Now you look just like the king. I am so good at this. Coming! Remember, we need Mila to think you're the king so she'll give you, slash me, her famous sniffle solver. So act royal. You're a king, not a dog. <laughs> Hi, you made it. How did you get here so fast? I, um got so worried about the king that I took an even shorter shortcut. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's have a look at our little patient. How are you doing, your highness? <laughs> hmm, that doesn't sound like the king I know. It doesn't? No, that sounds like a king who's very, very sick. You don't look so good either. What big puppy dog eyes you have. <laughs> Uh, all the better to see with. And what a sticky outy tongue you have. All the better to lick you with. And what a shiny collar you have. Shiny collar? All the better to... Ugh, I got nothing. Between you and me, the king does not look good. Uh, yeah, because he's sick. Quick. Give me that secret sniffle solver of yours. <laughs> Your Highness, down! <laughs> hey, that 
that's not the king. That's the big, bad, little, slobbery wolf. No, it's the king, really. Listen to that royal bark. <laughs> and look at that royal tail. And... <laughs> oh, what's the use? I'm sorry, Mila. I wanted to be the one to make the king feel better. So I tried to trick you into giving me your sniffle solver. Is that all? Why didn't you just ask me? We can both give it to him. Really? So, where's the real king? Oops, nearly forgot. He's in here. Drawer therapy. Mm-hmm, smart. Wakey, wakey, your majesty! Morning glories! <laughs> Is drawer therapy over already? Do I still have to sniff? <laughs> Sugar wookie boogie! Not for long, because Mila and I, <laughs> and Fruki, have a sniffle solver that will knock your cape off. Introducing... An egg? Of course. What were you expecting? I don't know. Soup? Vitamins? A magic potion? How can an egg get rid of a stuffed up nose? Watch. <laughs> was all Mila's idea. I had nothing to do with it. <gasps> Navy nasal passages. I can breathe. Works every time. And they all lived sniffle-free ever after. The end. You know what else baby stinkos can clear besides stuffed up noses? No. What? Rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Critter Prince. Are you ready? Ready. <gasps> mm. I can't, I don't, I'm not getting it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I know who you are. Cumulo. <sighs> <laughs> you guessed it, True. Your turn. Um, ah. Huh? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh! I got this one! You're a Yeti! <laughs> you guessed it, Bartleby. Your turn. Oh, okay. I, I got a good one. I am so good at this. You're gonna think I turned into a rock critter. Oops. I just gave it away, didn't I? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to pretend to be something else. Hmm. I know a story like that. Yes. It reminds me of the Frog Prince. I have a story exactly like that. Only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip, zap, zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once there was a king who traveled to the farthest reaches of the kingdom helping his citizens. Next. My skipping rope's all naughty. <laughs> I do love helping my citizens. <laughs> Even if it does mean uh, sitting on this throne all day. My balloon is all... Yeah! Who's next, my helpful herald? All done, my king. There's no one left who needs your help. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Just one more. I can see! Now, am I older? Let me just check. Ah, there's always just one more. Oh, my. What a happy sound. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, what fun it would be to be a happy, carefree critter. Bouncing on the lagoon. <laughs> oh, no, no. You don't need to stop. Uh, please go back to having fun. I'll be on my way. Well, back to helping citizens with my wand. But uh, perhaps I have time for one little bounce. <laughs> oh, to make myself nice and bouncy. <laughs> <sighs> the king will be so pleased. There really are no more requests. Well, 
Just one more. My king, good news. Just one last request, for real this time. Your majesty? Where'd you go? The king's wand? But where's the king? He never leaves us behind. Your majesty, where are you? I found your wand if that's what you're looking for. Oh, hello, little rock critter. Have you seen the king? Sorry, little friend, but I don't speak your language. Oh, I think I understand. You have a request for the king. I'm sure he can help you, but we have to find him first. Oh, sorry, little critter. The king's wand can only be used by the king himself. But don't worry, he has to be around here somewhere. Your majesty, where are you? There's just one more request. Oh, after yours, of course. Uh, your majesty, where are you? You, you were trying to take the royal wand, weren't you? I'm gonna keep it somewhere safe. Huh? Oh. Hey, my trumpet! No, 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 no. Come back here! Oh. <gasps> Got it! Huh? Uh, you're floating? Is that you, Your Majesty? It was always me. Your Majesty. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. A big bouncing apology to you, my faithful Herald. <laughs> Next time, I'll tell you when I go outside. <laughs> <laughs> and what you've changed yourself into. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very wicked promise. <laughs> There's always time for fun once your duties are done. There really is just one more promise. Oh, dear. I hope I haven't kept them waiting. Please, show them in. Well, Your Highness, the one more request is me. I was going to ask you to go bouncing on Boing Boing Lagoon. <laughs> of course! I've been wanting to do that all day. Now let's go bouncing! <laughs> The king and the herald had a great time bouncing the rest of the day away. The end. Oh, I would love to bounce like that. What fun! Bartleby, <laughs> you're a rock critter? <laughs> ha! Told you I was good at this game. Best rock critter ever, am I right? <laughs> 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 that story rocked. Come on, B. Let's get this party started. Imagine how great we'll be when there's real music to dance to. Yeah, I can't wait for Bingo Bango to get here. He's gonna blow the roof off this place tonight. He totally did that in the story of Bingo Bango and the Three Little Yetis. Is that like the Big Bad Wolf and the Three Little Pigs? Because I love that story! It's exactly like that story, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip, zap, zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there were three little yetis who wanted to have a dance party. So they built a party playhouse out of leaves. <laughs> when it was all done, out of the woods came... Oh, I know! A, a big bad wolf. Really big and hairy with big, scary teeth. Not exactly. Wait, 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 wait what was it then? <laughs> Hi, guys. Dance party! Dance party! Dance party! You want a dance party in your playhouse? Then I'm your DJ. Yay! And I'll bump, and I'll bump, and I'll blow the roof off. Uh -huh. That may 
things all play really great. Yay! Bingo Bangle stomped, and he bumped. One, two. <laughs> I. I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean I would really blow the roof off. I. I. I better go. Wow. <laughs> so, the three little yetis tried again and built a stronger playhouse made of big sticks. <laughs> Hi, little yetis. I brought you some numbleberry cookies because I broke your playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you built another one. Well, I'll just be going then. Everybody! No, no, I can't play. If I do, I'll thump and I'll bump and I'll blow the roof off by accident. <laughs> Okay, okay, for you guys, I'll play. I'll thump, and I'll bump, and I'll blow the roof off. But not really. Yay! Bingo Bango thumped, and he bumped, and then... Yay! Oh, no, I blew the roof off again. Oh, I'm terrible! Bingle Bangle was sorry he wrecked the Yeti's second playhouse, but they were ready to try again. Again! Again! Finally, the three little Yetis built a third playhouse. This time, out of a giant mushroom. Yeah! When it was done, they called out for their friend Bingo Bango. Hey! Bingo! Bango! Just a plain old bush. Nothing to see here. <laughs> no, really, I can't play. Ta -da! Oh, you guys really love building. Dance party! Dance party! Dance party! Dance party! Dance party! But, Dance party! But I'll thump and I'll bump and I'll blow the roof off. Please? Okay, okay. For you, I'll play and I'll blow the roof off. Yeah! <laughs> huh? Dance party, dance party. Dance party. Dance party. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll play. <laughs> Bingo Bango thumped, and he bumped, and this time, the roof stayed on. Him true? Is that the Bingo Bango? Hi, True. Hi, Bartleby. <gasps> dance party, dance party, please. Okay, okay, for you guys, I'll play. I'm gonna thump and bump and blow the roof off. Whoa, but not really. <laughs> Imagine Bingo Bangle playing so loud that a whole house shakes and the roof comes off. <laughs> As if that could ever happen. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Super duper dance party! Yep, the name is Bingo Bango. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> 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 
You must be careful, those birds prick. My perfect balance is no trick. I must be careful, those birds prick. Ah, little prick, I'll f Nothing can distract our mind. Perfect focus hard to find. Nothing can distract my mind. My focus is uh, kind of hard to find.
little helpers, you've been great. Little helpers, maybe take a break. Time to lower the activity. Chill out, relax, like Bartleby. Dusty ceiling needs attention. Little helpers, you're over busy. Little helpers, I'm in a tizzy. I'm running out of jobs to give you. And now I don't know what to do. Mossy mess. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. I can sleep or have a snooze on a lamp or on some boots, on a table or a door, on the bridge or on the floor. Retrace your steps. Retrace and think some more. What did you do before? Use your brain and think a lot. You'll remember what you forgot. And that memory won't be lost. Our steps go back. Our thoughts rewind. Retrace, retrace our steps to find things we lost or want to recall. Retrace your steps, that's it. Retrace, retrace. Our steps 
to find things we lost or want to recall. Nighttime. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. The soft cool breeze.
I'm so very, very glum. And so gloomy and humdrum. Ugh, why won't people let me be? I say happy's overrated. And it just makes me irritated. I just wanna be glum. So let me be. I say happy's overrated, and it just makes me irritated. I just want to be glum. Let, Let me be. be. I am still so very glum, but just look how far I've come. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Some stink, stink, and some stink smell. What kind you like, no one can tell. Take my jar and I'll be sad. We walk and play, it's very fun. And we don't bother anyone. This place is great, it's what we like. Each day and the moon rise each night is such an amazing, incredible, wonderful, amazing. Did I already say amazing? Important job! It's amazing, all right. Sun comes up and I'm wide awake. Moon comes up and I'm. The castle looks golden gorgeous. Oh, thank you for your help, True and Bartleby. You're welcome, welcome Rainbow, Rainbow King. King. And your timing couldn't be better. Here comes the Day Queen now. Whoa. Uh, True, you okay? True, true. Warmest greetings, Rainbow King. And you must be True and Bartleby. It's wonderful to finally meet you. You know me? She knows me! It's delightful to see you again, Your Majesty. And your sister, the Night Queen, should be here any minute. Rainbow King, why do the queens only visit at sunrise and sunset? The Day Queen's power comes from her brightness, Bartleby. It fades at night. So if she's away from sunshine too long, she won't have the energy to lift the sun each day just as the Night Queen must stay in darkness to lift the moon. So my sister and I can only be together at dawn and dusk. Oh, it's so sad. I get to see my best friend all the time. Aww. Oh, and speaking of, here comes... <gasps> the Night Queen! Night Queen! How glorious that you're here! Day Queen, seeing you is always the best part of my <laughs> evening. Thank you for inviting me, Rainbow King. You're welcome. Ah, you must be true. And Bartleby, I've heard so much about you. You've heard of me too? I... Wow. Oh, and here we go again. Night Queen, it's midnight marvelous to have you visit. And what a beautiful moonrise you've made. Though the Day Queen's sunset is marvelous as well. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Your Majesty. Nothing, Nothing beats, beats a perfect, perfect sunset. Moonrise. Oh, dear sister, surely you must agree the moonrise is more spectacular. I'm afraid I must disagree with you, sister. A sunset is the most beautiful. What do you think, True? Yes. Which one do you think is best? I, um, well, they're both great. 
<laughs> if only that were so. But clearly, my time is the best. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. A soft cool breeze and the moon a glow. Daytime simply can't compare. Compared to night, it's just so so. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing in comets when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is the best Night time. time is the best the time. The blue sky. The night star. The sun. The moon. Oh, my. This is perfect. <laughs> Crazy sky is perfect? Don't you see? We can finally be together all the time. I just have to stay on my side. Well, I stay on my side. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Everyone, please excuse us. I must finally convince my sister that daytime is the best time. I'm afraid that's impossible because nighttime is the best time. Goodbye. This is most unusual. Most unusual indeed. Maybe it'll be fine. Daytime and nighttime? At the same time? More like crazy time. A little, but it's okay, I think. Please, please go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe that worked. So tired. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Nothing could stop us now! See, you get the energy from the sun or nice, calming moonlight whenever you... Uh-oh. Oh. Looks like one of the buses fell asleep on the night side and the ones on the day side can't pass. What? <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Excuse me, bus. It's time to wake up. Tickle, tickle. Come on. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, B. Excuse me, bus, but could you please pull over so the other buses can get by? Oh, I get it. Oh! Oh, oh true. I, I need your help in the Happy Farming Valley. Sure thing, Farmer Mosser. I'm on my way. Oh, Cumulus! <laughs> Come on, Bartleby! Oh. Hi, Farmer Mosser. What's wrong? I know it's not too much sunshine. <laughs> Plants love sunshine! They sure do. All this sun was wonderful at first. My berry crop grew bigger and juicier than ever. Oh, giant berry. Where have you been all my life? But now, there's too much sun. My berries dry out just like that. <laughs> all that plump, delicious juiciness, gone. Okay, maybe this half day, half night thing isn't working out. We can't leave the sky like this. Let's go explain the problem to the queens. They'll understand. Right? I still can't believe they're here! Be strong, True. Good day, True, and good night. I was just telling Day how lovely the night stars are. But they can't compare with the shimmering sun. Isn't that right? <clears throat> True. Right. Thanks, B. Your Majesties, both day and night are amazing and everything. But could you please put the sky back the way it was? Please? Oh, True. But that would mean I couldn't be with my sister. Huh? The sun and the moon will stay where they are until we decide to change them. 
Which we won't. Ever. Uh, w w what now, True? I think we're gonna need some help. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! Oh, I do. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah! <laughs> Hi, Zeke. Hey. What are you doing? Greetings, True and Bartleby. Look at the wishes. Half of them just fell asleep, and the other half are full of energy. I don't know what's wrong. That's why we're here, Z. The Day Queen and the Night Queen stuck the sun and moon together. Now it's daytime and nighttime all the time. Most unusual. And I need some wish help to get the sky back to normal. Whoa, that is a problem. Come, let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> How can the wishing tree help? Well, I need a wish that can make the night side brighter and the day side darker. But even better would be a wish that can unstick the sun and moon completely. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Those are some fantastic wishes, True. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Flecto. Now this is a wish you can really reflect on. <laughs> I don't get it. Moving on. Flecto is a mirror wish that can show your reflection. It can also bounce light in any direction. Wow! Wow! Hello, handsome. <laughs> that means Flecto could bounce sunshine from the day side of the kingdom onto the night side to make it more like daytime there. Ooh, doo -doo. That will really brighten things up. Your second wish is Zeplo. It's a blimp wish. Zeplo can take in a lot of air and fly way up in the sky. Yeah, da, 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 da. Big and floaty wish. Hmm. Maybe I could use Zeplo to pull the sun and moon apart. Da, 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 da. Your third wish is Shumpi. It's a protection wish. It opens like an umbrella, but can bathe you in sunlight while it's stormy and dark around you. Or cover you in deep shade if you want out of the sun. Hmm. I'm not sure how that wish can help me unstick the sun and moon. Uh -huh. But I'll think of something. You always do, True. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> okay, bye, Z. Good luck, True and Bartleby. Okay, Bartleby, let's shed some light on Rainbow City. Flecto, it's time to reflect. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Here we go, Flecto. Wish come true. Hi, Flecto. Are you ready to bounce some sunbeams? Great. Let's go. <laughs> It's working, but our beam isn't big enough. Flecto, can you get bigger so I can bounce more light down to the night side? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 
morning, baby. <laughs> oh, it was good while it lasted. All right, oh. back to work. Oh. That's it? We covered all of Rainbow City. Great work, Flecto. <laughs> You true, but neither will I. Oh, oh no! Phew! Thanks, Flecto. Z. True. I have bad news. Huh? I've made a model of the sun and the moon, and by my calculations, if they're not separated soon, they'll smush together into one big moon with no sunlight or moonlight at all. <gasps> we have to fix this. It's time to see if Zeplo can separate the sun and the moon. No, oh, I hope it works, True. Good luck! This time, we're gonna do it. <sighs> hey, we're falling. Wait, wait, probably just a dream. <sighs> it's not a dream, Bartleby! Cumulo fell asleep. Wake up, Cumulo! We have to steer Cumulo to the day side, so he wakes up. Lean with me, Bee. Lean! No! <laughs> Phew! Good work, Cumulo. <laughs> Come on! Time for some wish power! Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Zeplo! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Zeplo. The sun and moon are stuck together. Can you help me fix it? Great. I'm going to guide you between them. Then you get really big and push them apart. Okay? Okay, Zeplo. Ready? Now, push! <gasps> Is it working? I only see Wish Tummy. <laughs> it's a nice tummy. Let's give Zeplo a helping push. <laughs> oh no! Cumulo, catch the wish! <laughs> gotcha! Are you okay, Zeplo? Little bit of a Thanks for trying, but the sun and moon are just too big to be pushed apart. You should get some rest. True, how goes the wish work? Have you separated the sun and the moon? Not yet. Whatever you're trying next, True, we have to hurry or... Sun, moon! There's only one thing we can do now. We have to get the queens to help us. Didn't we already try that? We did. <sighs> but we have to try harder. Thanks, Z! <laughs> Thank you both for meeting me. I know you love being together, and I love having you both together. But we have to fix the sky, your highnesses. What's the problem? Yes, we're having a wonderful time. But it's affecting the rest of the kingdom. <sighs> if you only could see both sides, you'd know. But I can't possibly travel to the night side. I'll lose my glow. And I certainly can't travel to the day side. I'll lose my darkness. Lose your glow. Lose your darkness. <gasps> I have a wish that can stop both those things from happening. I'll use Shumpi the protection wish to guard you from each other's time of day. Then I can take both of you anywhere in the kingdom to see what's going on. Well, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> You've both said your time of day is the best. But how will you know for sure unless you see both sides for yourselves? Huh. Well, when you put it that way, how could we say no? Great. Come on out, Shumpy. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Shumpy. <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Shumpy. We need to get over to the day side of the kingdom. Can you protect the Night Queen for me? Da -da 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 -da. 
Oh, my! Fantastic! Cumulo! Huh? Huh? Hi, Cumulo! First stop is Happy Farming Valley. My word! Is it always so dry here? No. Happy Farming Valley is usually green and lush. But, oh, my glorious sunlight is drying it out. You always tell me how people are so happy during the day. No! But I don't see that, sister. Neither do I. It's terrible. Look, Bee, they're seeing the problem for themselves now. So right. You're doing great, Shoopy! Now can you protect the Day Queen and go to the night side? <laughs> How marvelous! Sunshine at night! Would you look at that? What's everyone doing on the ground? Are they sick? Oh no, they're just sleeping. But they should be doing that at home. In their beds. Sister? You always tell me how quiet and magical and enchanting the nighttime is. But uh, I don't see any of that here. Neither do I. It's not right. It's working, True. Oh, don't fall asleep on me. Huh? Uh, right. Cumulo, back to the day side, please. Thanks, Cumulo. And thank you, Shimpy. <laughs> we see the problem now, True. Too much night is too much for anybody. And too much day isn't good either. It's time to make things right. Ready? Ready. The day is bright. The night is calm. Sun, moon, to where you belong! Another beautiful sunset. Thank you, queens. Daytime is a great time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. We run and skip and jump and play. It's a fun adventure time of day. <laughs> Nighttime is a great time. A soft, cool breeze, the moon in the glow. Get comfy, get back, it's quiet time. We wind things down and clear our minds. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing and calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is a great time. Daytime is a great time. The blue sky. The night stars. The sun. The moon. They're both the best time. I like us both being the best. Me too. True, you did it! What is that? It's a face bubble. You've never used one before? No. no. I think we found another way for you to see each other more. Here we go. Your Majesties, no matter where you are, you can talk to each other by face bubble. Oh, now I'll be able to see you in the nighttime. Oh, and I'll be able to see you in the daytime. Hugs! Oh! <laughs> this is the greatest day and night ever! ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you soon. Bye! For now! Bye, Day Queen! Bye, Night Queen! Bye! Bye! True's birthday party! It's my birthday! Okay, 
Are you ready for an amazing birthday? Of course. Wait, I still have so much to do for the party tonight. No, you don't. Cuz I planned your whole party. Really? Yep, it's my gift to you. I'm gonna make sure you have the most amazing birthday ever. You won't have to do a single thing today, True. Aw, oh, B, you're the best. I know, but we've got some serious birthdaying to do. Let's get going. It's my birthday. My best friend's birthday. Ready for a treat? I made something extra special. Guess what it is? <laughs> it's you! Yeah! I call them Bartle Biscuits. I got the idea from the mirror. <laughs> hmm. Which part should I eat first? My ears, of course. Good choice. Hey, this kind of tastes like Stranilla. <gasps> Are we having Stranilla cake at my party? You'll have to wait and see. With wiggly jiggly jelly and bubble chew icing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as your best friend, I of course knew you'd want all those different flavors together. It's definitely not just a basic mellow berry cake. Aw, uh -huh, Bee. You know me so well. Can I borrow your face bubble thingy for a non-birthday emergency? Sure. Here, have another Bartle biscuit. Try eating it as loud as you can. Oh, loud enough? Griselda, answer my face bubble. Griselda, we have a birthday emergency. <gasps> you ran out of glitter balloons? No, we need to change the mellow berry cake into a straw nilly wiggly jiggly jelly bubble chew icing cake. Oh, that's no problem. Baking isn't hard. All you need is a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh, uh. But you don't have a recipe. Princesses don't need recipes. We're amazing at everything we do. Right, Grismos? Uh, okay, but don't forget the cake is the most important part of our party. Obvi. That's why I'm in charge of it. Okay, Grismos, you heard Bartleby. Mellow Berry's out, and Stranella Wiggly Jiggly Jelly Bubble Chew Icing is in. Where's my super fast ever rise powder? Let's add more. More is better. <laughs> Everything good with the decorations? Okay, great. Talk to you soon. Aww. All aboard the Mushroom Town Birthday Express. Hey, yeah! Everyone's on their way? You bet. Right on schedule. Great! Hey, Bingo Bango! You know the way, right? You turn left at the never ending forest? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream lunch? Ice cream for lunch? We can do that? Sure, it's your birthday. Let's put the scream in ice cream birthday lunch. Perfect. Ready to bake. Uh, uh. Ugh, what are you Grismos doing? Step aside. <laughs> This needs a princess's delicate touch. <laughs> Baking would be hard if I wasn't so good at it. Okay, Bartleby. I think that's enough. Just one last thing to top it off. A fishy poof cracker. Whoa. Whoa. No. my party. Ah, uh, you weren't gonna wear that anyway. Cuz we're gonna get you a new outfit! Really? But only after you finish all your ice cream. Challenge accepted. No, no, 
no, no, no. This simply won't do. We need to make it pop. Because all together, more, more is better. better. Nothing's going to stop this express bus to True's birthday party. Except for this delicious goo. Hey, what's the hold up? I gotta get to True's party. Pardon me, I have a party to attend. Can you please move it along? Yeah, well, what's going on? Okay, this is perfect. Ready to see my new birthday suit? Is it as cute as mine? <laughs> In that fabulous outfit, you are going to rock this party. What's that? I don't know, but we better go check it out. What's going on? A traffic jam? Drew's party bus. Oh, hello, Rainbow City bus. Shouldn't you be on your way to someplace very important? Mayhaps. Well, I should, but as you can see... <laughs> I'm stuck in this delicious goo. It does smell yummy. It is yummy. And it tastes a lot like bubble chew icing. Griselda! Oh. Well, that's wiggly and jiggly enough for a regular cake eater. But this cake needs to be princess level wiggly jiggly. More is better. Hey, Griselda, do you know anything about some bubble chew icing traffic jam? Bartleby, I'm in the middle of making the most important cake of my career. I need my space. I'll talk to you later. But, but... Toodles! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Ah! Ah! are fine. You don't really need to do any hero stuff today, do you? I don't know, B, but let's go and check it out anyway. What happened? Is everything okay? <laughs> These trees are blocking your path? Hmm. Well, maybe the three of us can move it. Ah, true. Can it wait? We still have that ooey-gooey traffic jam to clean up. If we don't help, no one will be able to come through the forest. <laughs> bingo, bingo. Party decorations. We need to move this tree right now. <laughs> That's the spirit. It's too heavy. <laughs> This isn't working. Time for some wish help. To the wishing tree! V! Oh, happy birthday, True. I, uh, wasn't expecting to see you until your party. The party will have to wait, Z. There was some kind of earthquake. Yeah, we felt it up here, too. It knocked over trees in the never-ending forest, and no one could get around. And there's a sticky situation in Rainbow City. A sticky, gooey situation. And it's causing a huge traffic jam. Oh, that does sound serious. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first we need to get the trees back upright in the never-ending forest. Yeah, and let's not forget, they're super heavy. Then, we have to get the gooey glob off the Rainbow City streets. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wish 
You see what the Wishipedia says about these. First up is Lifto. Lifto! This wish is incredibly strong. It can lift anything you place on top of it. Just give it a spin. Wow! Lifto, you can help us get all the trees standing again. Lifto! And next we have. This wish can blow air into anything, like a flat tire. Or a balloon bouquet. Bumpa. Or a giant gooey glob like the one causing the traffic jam. Maybe Pumpa can blow it into a bubble and float it away. Pumpa. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Meet Kakaraka, one of the most powerful wishes of all. Kakaraka! Kakaraka is a bursting wish that can help break large things into smaller pieces. Wow! I'm not sure how I can use Kakaraka just yet, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Bye, Z. Good luck, you two. We're back. Thanks for waiting. Let's see if we can move these trees off the road for you. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Lifto. Wish come true. Hey-ho, Lifto. Hey-ho. See all those fallen trees? <laughs> we need you to lift them back up again. Which will clear the path and allow everyone to get where they need to go. <laughs> Oh, I'm just excited about getting people moving again. Go Lifto! Yeah! Come on back down, Lifto! <laughs> okay, let's get the rest of this path clear. Now back in the pack. Come on, B. We've got to get back to Rainbow City to deal with that gooey, globby mess. All this baking is making my lips chapped. Uh, mm. Hi. Oh, what is more important than taking Hi. care of my beautiful skin? <gasps> Uh-oh! Uh. Hi, everyone! Drew, thank goodness. I don't think I can eat any more of this delicious goo. Okay, time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Pumpa! Wish come true! Hi, Pumpa! Pumpa! That giant glob has really gooed up our friends. Ready to help clean it up? Pumpa! Great! I bet we can blow a huge bubble out of that goo. Pumpa power, go! That really blew me away. Now back in the back. Thanks, Drew. See you later. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't need to do any of that hero stuff today, but you took care of that pretty easily. I did, didn't I? Hey, Griselda. Uh, Drew, I 
wish you the most happy birthday. Ah! Aw, thanks, Griselda. May I please talk to Bartleby about nothing to do with cakes? Sure thing. <laughs> okay, what is it, Griselda? Bartleby, this cake is not doing what I told it to do. Stay! No! Bad cake! The words bad and cake are not something I want to hear. What's going on? Well, it turns out more is not always better. The Stronilla cake layer is a bit bigger than I expected. Like, oops, it's so big we're gonna be eating cake for a week. More like, oops, it's too big for the oven. And the kitchen? And maybe the house? Ah, come quick, I'm not sure I can hold this much longer. What was that? That's a... Super huge birthday cake? Super huge, totally on purpose birthday cake. B, you shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. Uh, that'll be for me. Bartleby, the strangest thing just happened. I'm suspended in this scrumptious Stranilla sponge cake. I've been stuck in a traffic jam before, but never a traffic jelly. This cake is going straight to Fergie's obedience school. I Hi, True. Hmm. There might be a small problem with the party. Oh, you mean that giant birthday cake that fell over on Mushroom Town and has all our birthday guests stuck inside the delicious ooey gooey icing? Uh huh. That wasn't part of my plan. True, I hate to ruin your day, but I think I really need your help now. It's okay, Bee. Helping people is my favorite thing to do. Oh, cute! Hi, Cumulo. We've got a cake problem. To the Mushroom Town. This cake is huge. And it looks delicious, too. Should we just eat our way through? Because I'd be okay with that. Well, as yummy as that sounds, it might take too long. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, cat! Wish come true! Hi, Kakaraka! We have a giant cake problem. We need your help. Kakaraka! Ready, Kakaraka? Kakaraka! We're rooting for you, Kakaraka! Kakaraka! Okay, now wait for my signal. On my count. Three, two, one. wanted it to, and besides, you don't even have a cake! Bartleby, I had the most incredible day! Mostly because I got to spend it with you. I love the picnic and the ice cream lunch, and I love my outfit! Everything you did today came from your heart, and that made this the best birthday ever! Huh? What? I don't think anyone's had a birthday party like this before. Kakaraka! Way to go, Kakaraka! Zoo zip zap, wishes in my pack. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday True! True. Best, Best party, party ever! This party is amazing! Thanks, everyone! This is even better than the best birthday party ever, and it's all thanks to Bartleby. Great, Great job, Bartleby! Bartleby. Ah, shucks. Thanks, True. You deserve it. True? Hey, where'd she go? And now for
for your birthday entertainment. Wow. May I please present to you our great guest of honor. Yay. So put your hand and or paws together for the Rainbow Kingdom's favorite birthday girl and friend. It's true. It's true's birthday. Happy birthday, true. It's true's birthday. Happy birthday, true. It's true's birthday. Happy birthday, true. And we're dropping this birthday before you. Big mossy mess. Okay, Bartleby. If you were the Rainbow King, where would you want to set up my nibbles and zips party? <laughs> So many choices. Um, uh, let's see. Um, here! <laughs> Bartleby. <laughs> what? This is the perfect spot. It's where all the snack action is. Wow. Getting ready for a juice party with the king sure is making me... Thirsty? Then it's time for a sip of sweet, sweet Suzuni juice. Nectar of the gods. After you. Uh, excuse me. Oops. Sorry, was that the last one? You just gave me a great idea! You want to use a straw um, like a pretend mustache? <laughs> no, silly. We can get some freshly squeezed Zazuni juice for the Rainbow King. And I know just where to get it. Yay! Nibbles and sips, nibbles and sips. No quibbles or squabbles. We'll slurp and we'll gobble. Each crumb and each drip of those nibbles and sips. <laughs> Rainbow Guard! I'm feeling nibbly and sippy. What time does True's party start? Hmm. At 3 p.m. Lavender luck. That gives me plenty of time to get ready. Rainbow Guard, please polish my scepter for me. While I practice my nibbling and sipping. There it is. Happy Farming Valley. And there's the Zuni Moss Island. These islands are so beautiful. Well, hi there, True and Bartleby. Hi, Farmer Mosser. We're having a nibbles and sips party for the Rainbow King today, and we were wondering if we could have some... Fresh squeezed Zazuni juice? Wow! How did you know? That's why everyone comes to Zazuni Moss Island. It's like he can read minds. I am very impressed by this farmer. <laughs> the zingy goodness of Zazuni juice comes from the Zazuni moss we grow right here in our fields. Ah, oh, this is so... Whoa! Soft Zazuni moss. So cozy. So very softy soft. Can Zazuni moss grow anywhere, Farmer Mosser? We can only grow it on this island because it grows so fast. Watch. That is fast. Now I'll show you how this mask gets juiced. Bartleby, <laughs> come on, you silly sleepyhead. Huh? What? Oh, I'm right. Ah, uh, just one more second. Okay. Okay, I really have to stop now. And here we have our Zazuni juicer. Wow, that juicer is humongous! The Zazuni moss is scooped up and then dropped into the juicer. It squishes and stretches the moss and then twists it to squeeze all the juice out. Amazing. Is it Zazuni juice yet? Almost. Almost? And that is freshly squeezed Zazuni juice. Enjoy. Perfect. Take as many as you like for your nibble and uh, uh, sip a thing. Wow. Thanks, Thanks Farmer Mosser. Anytime. Bye bye now. Huh? You don't belong there, Moss. Bartleby. Come on. I'll be right with you. I should probably give this back to Farmer Mosser. Farmer Mosser? Farmer Mosser! Farmer Mosser? Farmer Mosser! 
<laughs> oh well. Guess I'll just have to hold on to this very soft piece of moss. Super soft, soft moss of ultimate softness. Wow. So soft. All settled? Ah, you bet, yeah. It was a long ride. I could really use a nap. Come on, Bartleby. The king's gonna be here any minute. Uh, fine. <laughs> okay, Moss, you just stay here until I can come back and nap on you. I'll take you back home later. Sleep tight. One last thing. Can you help me set the table, please? I sure can. You take the nibbles and I'll take the sips. Whoa! Is everything okay? Um, yes. I, I um, oh, just see a spot that needs cleaning. But I'm on it. So good! Any second now! It sure is taking you a long time to put out three juice balls. Well, I like things to be just so. All done? Hold on! <sighs> Whoa! What's all this? <laughs> Funny story. Remember all that moss we saw at the moss farm today? Well, I actually sort of brought a teeny tiny bit of it home with me. <laughs> yes, I did that. Teeny tiny? Well, it was teeny tiny when I got it, um, but it's not so teeny tiny now. Oh, right. Farmer Mosser told us that the moss grows really, really fast. Remember? Uh-oh, I think I slept through that part. Did I mention how wonderfully soft that moss was? <laughs> A few times. But on the bright side, now the whole house can be my bed. I'm always just seconds away from a full-on nap. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. I can sleep or have a snooze on a lamp or on some boots, on a table or a door, on the fridge or on the floor. Toadstool table, that's for me. The list is endless, can't you see? Let it spread, I'll have a bed of mossy softness for my head. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. Oh, Moss, Moss, you are so soft. That was a great song, Bee, but look how much moss grew while you were singing. It'll be hard to have a nibbles and sips party when my house is so mossy. No problem. We'll get rid of it. It grew back. That's just what happened at the farm. Okay, new plan. Let's have the party outside. We'll tidy up the moss later. Great thinking. We can keep the moss from spreading by closing all the doors and windows. Quick, me, close the door. Problem solved. Now we can have our nibbles and sips party outside. Yep, that moss isn't going. Anywhere? Uh-oh. Our little moss problem is now a big moss problem. And we're going to need some help to stop it. Some witch help. Cumulo! Oh. Hi, Cumulo. Please take us to the witching tree. Faster! The moss is spreading! Hurry! Very good. Oh, greetings, Truman Bartleby. Hi, Z. What are you doing? <laughs> We're practicing balancing. Gotcha. <laughs> Th 
thanks, Wishes. We will work on this more later. What can I help you with, True? I'm hosting a Nibbles and Sips juice party for the king today. But I have a big Zazuni moss problem, and it seems to be getting bigger. Quarks and quasars! Is it ever? Moss is spreading all over Rainbow City. All right. Let's stop and have a think. <sighs> Looks like the moss is a big problem. What were you thinking, True? Well, Bartleby brought some moss back from Happy Farming Valley, and it's growing really fast. But it's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> I need some wishes to help me stop the moss from growing and spreading everywhere. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. from the wishing tree, Z. Can you show me what their powers are? I certainly can. Let us see. Ah, yes, here it is. Whoosh is the name of your windy wish. It has respiration super capacity. Huh? That means he sucks in and blows out really strongly. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of moss to blow away. What's next? Where is... <laughs> Chelsea is a wish that can freeze things in ice. Perfect. I could freeze the moss to stop it from growing. Great idea. We'll make mossicles. <laughs> <laughs> Your last wish is twisty. It can twist things in all sorts of different ways. <laughs> I have no idea how Twisty will slow down the moss, but I'll think of something. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Bye, Z. Thanks for all your help. Bye. <laughs> Splendid work, Rainbow Guard. My scepter is as shiny as a star now. I'm ready to go to True's house for the nibbles and sips party. Mm -hmm. <gasps> a wall of moss? I don't think it's moss season. I can't get through it. Can you try? <laughs> Purple petunias, what a predicament. Mm. Oh no! It's getting worse. If we don't stop this fast, the Rainbow Kingdom will turn into the Zazuni Moss Kingdom. Mm. Oh, terrible thing a Zazuni Moss Kingdom would be. Bartleby, you've seen what's going on around here, right? I know. I'm just going to miss it so much. Oh, Bartleby. Time to get this mossy problem under control. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Woosh. Wish come true. Are you ready to huff and puff and blow the moss away? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Woosh, try harder. I know you can do it. Whoa, wow! Hold on. When you inhaled, the moss ripped off and went right into your mouth. Can you inhale the rest of it? Goodbye, moss! 
Wow! You have the suction power of a super vacuum! Great job, Woosh. Now for the inside. The inside, too? Bartleby. <sighs> okay. After you. <laughs> now let's clean up the rest of the neighborhood. I'll never forget how soft you were. So very soft. I'll get you something just as soft to sleep on. Promise? Pa promise. Okay, but I don't think you'll find anything softer than super comfy soft Suzuni. <gasps> it already reached the Rainbow Castle. Can you hold any more moss? <laughs> Thanks for helping, Loosh. I'll be back to get you after you digest and get smaller again. But right now, it's time for some freezing action. Cumulo! We have to hurry to stop this moss. Okay, Chilzy, come on out. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Chilzy! Wish come true! Settle in, Chilzy, and get ready, Bartleby. It's about to get icy. Ha! Huh. Good thing I have built-in mittens. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Do you really think Chilzy can freeze all this? We have to try. Time to freeze some moss. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. The moss stopped growing. Let's keep going. Chilzy did it. Everything's frozen. And now the rainbow castle. Ready, aim, chill! You did it, Chilzy! Great job! Now back in the pack. Phew! Hello, True Bartleby. I thought I wasn't going to make it to your nibbles and sips party today. We had a bit of a Zazuni moss problem, Your Majesty. But we stopped it from growing. Once we get it all shoveled up, it's nibbles and sips for all. Yay! And look, the weather couldn't be better for it. All warm and sunny. Warm? And sunny? I've got a soggy, sinking feeling about this, True. <laughs> Huh? What? Oh, oh, no! No! oh, I should have left that piece of moss back on Zazuni Moss Island. I'm sorry, True. I did this. It's all my fault. It's okay, Bartleby. We'll get things back to normal with my last wish. Twisty the Twist Wish. How can twisting stop the moss from mossing? All that wish does is twist, twist, twist. I feel like we've seen twisting like this before. But where? I twisted dough into pretzels yesterday for lunch. They were delicious. Yum. Oh, wow. <laughs> really good. And I twisted a balloon into a balloon mouse for you this morning. I love that balloon mouse. Um, while it lasted. And the juicer we saw at Mosser's farm, it had a funnel that twisted the moss and made the juice. Wait a minute. Bartleby, that's it. 
twisting turn Zazuni Moss into Zazuni Juice. The moss is gone and only juice is left. Sounds like a great plan. If anyone can get rid of this moss, it's you, true? Thanks, Rainbow King. Ready, B? Always. Except for when I'm napping. But I'm not, so yes! <laughs> Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Twisty! Wish come true. Okay, Twisty, let's Twisty twist the moss and make it go away. <laughs> Rodeo rainbows! That's great! Thanks, Drew. My pleasure, Your Majesty. Let's go, B. <laughs> Making me thirsty. <laughs> okay, everyone, get ready to sip, sip, sip. <laughs> <laughs> yummy! 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 Whoosh and Chillsy really helped clean up that moss, but Twisty made enough Zazuni juice for the whole Rainbow Kingdom. Mm -mm. Love that Zazuni juice, and it's great with fishy poof crackers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Twisty and Woosh, back in the pack. Cherry Jubilee, true. These nibbles and sips are superb. Thank you, Your Highness. And best of all, there's no moss left in the Rainbow Kingdom. Here, here. <sighs> ah. Bartleby, I haven't forgotten my paw promise. I knew you wouldn't. I got you a new pillow to nap on that's just as soft as moss. <gasps> Aw, thanks, True. But there's no way a pillow could be as soft as... <laughs> <laughs> Sweet dreams, Bee. Hmm. <laughs> 